Today I'm going to be making the Short Circuits J Cart Bionic Ear Project. Um, so I'll leave a link below to where I get these. So basically, I've already taken out the staples, but it comes with all of the all of the components that you need. So everything but a battery. And these are not instructions, so it does not come with instructions. You actually have to buy a separate book, which I don't have for the blue ones, but I do for the green one. That is uh, what I'm building next. Um, but basically, these just tell you what the components are. So here you can actually see Short Circuits Volume 2 books, so that is all the instructions, and uh, 3, which is the green. Um, and I actually have that book, which is good, because this one is a lot more complicated, I think, than uh, this Bionic Ear. And the other ones that I've done, which I'll link, which are... Get them, which include this short circuits touch switch. So basically, you touch this and it will uh, turn this freely on and off um, from a set time delay. Then you have this timer circuit. So basically, you set a time on this potentiometer, press the button, and then this relay will be on for as long as. Um, you need it, and I've also built two other ones, but they haven't, well they have, like I built them before I had this YouTube channel. And also, if you watch my last video, um, these things don't actually come with IC sockets. So, you, see if I can find it, right here. So that is the IC, and it's not actually in the socket, and you shouldn't really sell the IC straight onto the board, you should get a socket, and I learned that last time, because I soldered it straight on, and actually soldered it backwards, so with this socket, you solder this on, then you put the IC in, and it doesn't matter if it's backwards, or, because you can just change it. So I invested in some of them, they were very cheap, so I got some. So I'll just start opening this stuff. I'll pour this out. So a bionic ear is basically an ear that lets you listen to things super far away. So this um, basically you have your headphone jack, so you can plug in some headphones and a, and a mic. So then basically you can listen to stuff that's coming in that mic and then it gets amplified. So, and then you have a potentiometer, which you can adjust the volume. Now this, this like coil, it's basically wire. It doesn't really have a purpose in this because it works. Um, I think it's like if you just need to like bridge something on here or something because it's it's literally just wire. Or maybe it's solder. Hold on. Oh yeah, so this stuff is actually uh, solder. So now I actually know what that is, so if you don't have solder, which I do, I actually have a giant reel of it, um, you can use that, that is kind of thick solder though, so let me just uh, unpack the rest of this stuff. So this thing comes again with everything you could need for it except for instructions and uh, batteries so this one actually just runs off a nine volt battery which i have plenty of in fact i have a whole ziploc bag of them right here i have a lot more but anyway so again i'll leave a link to where i get these at 
J car. I'll leave a link um, to it. And uh, yeah, I, so one tip is you always want to start with your resistors first, um, not the large components, because if you were if you were to say put the potentiometer in and all this other stuff like the mic and stuff and all the capacitors and um, this thing, the jack, the headphone jack. You wouldn't actually um, be able to, what do you call it, uh, like get all the small things in. So start with the like the resistors and potentiometers and then like the transistors and then the ICs and then the capacitors and all that sort of stuff. Um, it actually comes with a second potentiometer, which goes here, not really sure what the point of that is but I guess we'll find out. So I'm gonna start um, basically figuring out in here it has all the things so going to basically figure out um, where everything goes like what it is and then everything's not going so let me uh, do that and uh, I'm just finishing off this last resistor. These last two resistors, I should say. So this board actually has a lot of resistors um, compared to the, the other boards that I've done. I'll show you what the other boards look like in a second. Usually they have more diodes as well. Um, so let me just get another board. So like here, this one only has four resistors and two diodes. This one has one diode and a couple of resistors. So this one does have a lot, um, so what I'll do is I will grab my helping hands and have a video on our solder, if you want to go check that out, I'll link that at the end, and I will basically just solder all these resistors on. Um, and yeah, I'll do the rest, I guess. So I have all the resistors and diode in. So next, I will probably do these transistor things. Um, hoping they're all the same. That one's 100. Yeah, so I believe they are all the same. So, yeah, so there's two 100s and one 200, which is this one. So, I will install these and then open them on. Okay, so all the transistors are done. Now, I am just going to sort of this in. I probably should have done it before because now it's a bit tight. But hopefully I can still get it. There we go. And um, so I'll just solder. What is it on the board here? Just um, solder this on. So now we can probably, I will put the, I 
I see something in. And I will do all of the capacitors. So even on the IC socket, if you can see there, it actually has a groove that corresponds on the board and as well on the IC. So make sure you put it the right way because that tells you which way it should go. And that's what I didn't look at last time because especially with these, you have to actually bend them into place to be able to fit them into there. That's also another reason they bought sockets. Um, so they didn't have to do that. And then I wasn't paying attention to which way it was meant to go. And I actually put it in the wrong way. Then I had to desolder all of the pins and that was, let's just say that was a big pain. So, um, and also I think it may have uh, messed up the, the thing a little bit because now it kind of, this weird um have a polarity you can see this golden stripe thing that is a negative so it's just like an LED but um yeah you wanna, wanna make sure you get them the right way or they'll explode but these these ones don't have a polarity The short lead is the negative. So you can see here on the board, it's actually marked positive for this. And I need to get.
capacitors in. left I'll put the IC in at the end so basically this shaft you see is not a circle it has like a thing it's like a notch that's been cut out on the potentiometer and in there you probably can't see it but there's a notch that matches with it then that goes on there and it means that basically there's only one way you can put it on so that means it's zero that means it's full no, actually, I don't know if I want to use this black one because it's just black, it looks a bit plain. Um, because in my homemade power supply, you can check that out, I have a video on that. I actually tried to use a potentiometer, but it didn't really work. So I have a cap for it, it has like red on the top. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so I found it. So they actually sell these in all different colors. I think I'll probably use the red one. So yeah. Um, basically, put that to the side because that's probably going to be the last thing that I sold them on. does. I tested it with headphones, but obviously you guys can't hear it if I have headphones. 
So I have this uh, cable coming on this jack and uh, I'm going to plug it into a speaker because it doesn't work if I just plug it in. So uh, let me go get a speaker, I'll plug it in and see if it works. But, um, it has a bit of feedback because you see the microphone's next to the speaker. So I just turn it down on the potentiometer, you can turn it down. That one, I believe, is just like how far it can hear. I'm um, not really sure. Otherwise, what else it is for, but. So, um, I'll turn it up and let you hear what it sounds like. So that is me next to it. Test, testing, testing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So, I think what I'll do, I will um, desolder these two, and I'll actually get a long cable, I'll go out of this, uh, this room, and then, so you can hear what it sounds like. So let me just get a long cable soldered up. The speaker has the circuit over there, and I have this, the mic hooked up to this very long cable. So I'm going to go out of this room and, um, yeah, I guess, see if it works. Here we go. This is on the Fool William speaking around about 20 ish, 25 centimeters away. This is speaking about 40 centimeters away. This is speaking as long as my arm, so about uh, just under a meter. This is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Comment if you got to the end. Thanks. Bye.